integral part of our life. We prepare and consume a wide range of food in our daily life which provides us the required nutrients for our survival. Many of us might have experienced uneasiness or discomfort or sometimes even suffer from food poisoning after consuming food from outside. Healthy food, if cooked or consumed in an unclean and unhygienic environment, invites disease and ill health. This is mainly because of the unhygienic practices being adopted before, while or after preparing food, which results in rapid multiplication of harmful microbes in the food. Hence, it is essential to follow good hygienic practices at home. Make sure to consume food from outside which is prepared and served in a hygienic environment. Food may get contaminated at any stage of food chain. May it be preparation Handling, serving, or storage of food. Let us learn about the different hygienic practices to be adopted in order to prepare and serve safe and hygienic food. Kitchen Hygiene Food safety begins in the kitchen. Many types of utensils and equipments are used in the kitchen for preparation, storage and serving of food. For example, we use cutting board, knife, mixer grinder, sieve, etc for processing of raw materials. Similarly, we use karhai, pressure cooker, etc. for preparation of food. Containers, plates, spoon, spatula are used for serving of food. Hence, it is essential to maintain these utensils and equipments in proper condition. Choose a cutting board made of food grade plastic with a smooth and hard surface. Replace cutting board which is deeply scratched or grooved. Use only those kitchen knives which have acrylic or plastic handles and are in good condition. Use separate cutting boards and knives to chop raw meat and vegetables. A green color cutting board can be used for processing vegetables and fruits Whereas, red color cutting board can be used for meat and fish. The cutting board, knife and all the cooking and storage utensils should be properly washed and dried before and after use. First, thoroughly wash and scrub the cutting board to remove any physical dirt. In order to remove oil and dirt sticking to the cutting board, Use a small amount of dishwashing liquid and scrub it till a gentle lather forms. Then, rinse the cutting board in tap water. Drain the excess water from the cutting board. Dry the cutting board using a clean cloth or tissue paper as it may act as a source of contamination for food. In a recent study, it has been found that cloth used for cleaning utensils and other materials in kitchen 
is one of the dirtiest items. It acts as a potential source of contamination of food. Therefore, do not use dirty cloth and use only clean dry cloth and sponge during food preparation. Waste containers and bins in the kitchen must have proper lids and should be cleaned and disinfected regularly. Personal Hygiene The personal hygiene of the person cooking is the next important aspect of making safe food. It is essential to wear clean apron and hair mask while preparing and serving food. Long nails may act as a source of contamination as dirt may get deposited in the nail head. Hence, nails should be trimmed regularly. Hair should be properly tied or covered while handling food. Do not wear any jewellery, watch or other such items which may contaminate the food. Never touch or handle dirty cloth while preparing or serving food. Hand washing It is necessary to wash your hands thoroughly and frequently using soap and clean water. Hands should be washed before and after handling food. Every person handling the food should learn the correct method of hand washing. Make it a habit and practice it at home. The process begins with wetting hands properly in clean tap water. Then apply hand wash or so. Make lather well and rub hands for about 20 seconds. Rinse hands thoroughly in clean tap water till the soap lather goes off completely. Drain off the excess water. Use soft gel to sanitize the hands if available. Dry hands using clean and dry cloth or disposable paper towel. Cleaning of raw materials. step is to handle raw materials once you have ensured your personal hygiene and made your workplace clean. Raw material for food can be a source of potential contamination. It is necessary to clean raw materials properly. It is essential to clean and wash the raw materials before using so as to remove dirt, soil and other materials from the surface. Rinse fresh fruits and vegetables under clean tap water. It is suggested to use chlorinated water containing about 200 ppm of chlorine for surface disinfection of raw materials. Preparing chlorinated water, take 1 liter of water and add 1 chlorine tablet and mix properly so that chlorine tablet gets dissolved. Use this chlorinated water for cleaning and washing the raw materials. After washing, excess water should be drained properly. Dirty eggs can also contaminate the food kept near it. However, as a thumb rule, do not wash eggs 
because there are chances of the bacteria present on the surface of the egg to penetrate into the egg while washing. Raw materials need to be cut properly so that they do not spill over. This is even more important for food that is consumed raw like fruits. Keep your hands clean and ensure that the food is not touched with anything unclean. Cutting off raw materials Hands can also act as a source of contamination. Hence. It is important to wash hands using soap or hand wash liquid before starting the cutting of raw materials. Proper cutting of raw materials is important, especially in case of fruits which are consumed raw. The correct way of cutting the fruits Vegetables and meat are shown here. Do not touch dirty clothes or hair while cutting the raw materials. Cross contamination. Cross contamination means transfer of microbes from a contaminated surface or food to another surface or food. Here you can see that vegetables, fruits and meat are kept in the same plate, which may result in cross-contamination. Hence, the vegetables and fruits should be kept away from the meat. Cross-contamination also takes place when vegetables and meat are cut on the same cutting board. In the refrigerator, raw food, meat, poultry, fish or milk must be kept below ready to eat food and if possible it must be wrapped in plastic bags to avoid cross-contamination. Preparation of food The wrong and correct way of preparation of food is shown here. Wrong practices are Using unclean or dirty working surface Use of dirty cloth to clean hands and cutting board Wearing dirty clothes, watch, jewelry, etc. Improper handling of raw material Touching hair or dirty cloth while cutting the raw material Food not properly covered after preparation Using bare hands in handling of food Correct practices are Keeping the working surface clean Using clean cloth to clean hands and cutting board. Wearing clean clothes, headgear, gloves. Proper handling of raw material. Cleaning the hands in chlorinated water before preparation of food. Properly covering or wrapping the cooked food. Using spoon or spatula for handling cooked food. Serving of food The wrong and correct way of serving of food are shown here. Wrong method Not well groomed serving person Using dirty cloth for cleaning plates Using same spoon or spatula for serving different food items Improper handling of food Correct method 
keeping the serving area or environment clean and dry. Using clean and dry utensils which are used for consuming food like spoon, fork, plates, etc. Serving person wearing clean clothes, well groomed and following proper personal hygiene. Serving clean potable drinking water. Using clean and dry cloth for cleaning the plates. Using separate spoon or spatula for serving different food items. Proper handling of food. Preparing and serving food in a safe manner is very crucial for maintaining health standards. It is not difficult to maintain a high standard of cleanliness and hygiene provided one is aware of it and makes it a regular habit. Food can never be enjoyed if not served in a clean and proper manner. Even simple food looks appetizing when served cleanly. Eating of cleanly cooked and served food is a sure way of preventing disease and ensuring a healthy life.